The year is 2021. For over a year, I have been a recluse. Not even the cheerful melody of the ice cream truck would lure me from my seclusion. Pray, do not misunderstand, for I did not have the dreaded plague. But I had simply grown tired of interacting with people. At first, I embraced my new reclusive nature, showering upon it the many accolades it deserved. Oh, now, I can only consider it an evil curse. The isolation of this new normal has made me grow a beard and forego bathing as I meme on the internet. And yet, as I emerge from the bunker of my basement, Doritos in hand, into a before normal, I cannot help but realize I have no allies to call mine own. These allies had a term in the before normal times. They were called... friends. It is now that my introverted self has come to a conclusion. I need to make... friends. I need these friends to nurture my soul and reinvigorate my popularity. Having just revived my social life from suspended animation, I can only wonder how the method for making friends has changed in this year-long hibernation. Will you be my friend? Uh, hold on, I have a button for this. No! Do you want to be my friend? Will you be my friend? Wow. You sound so desperate. Are you okay? You know, actually, um... I, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, oh, oh jeez. Oh jeez, my internet. It, it's breaking up. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't... Do you want to be my friend? You know. But wait, why? Cause you get me killed in every game. Your inventory management is balls. You smell like. As I listened to the reasons list, I came to a new money. conclusion. I wasn't the problem. The way I was going about it was. I mean, just look at how cool I am on Twitch. For our next bout. Oh, here we go. What? I'm not a cheater. Who is the champion of pranksters? <laughs> Aw, poor team. <laughs> no! Don't vote for that! No, don't vote for that! No! No, take it back! This is tough to watch. No, take it back! This next contest could swing things. The champion of getting fired Don't on you Monday. Do this. Don't you do this. Will the players tag out? No. Let's find out. You better tag out. Are they down for the count? Why are you voting for that? I'm going to get fired on a Monday. With the white flag. This one appears to be over. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you got a point. I'll give you that. Like I said, how could that be my fault? If you click on the link in the description below, you can discover how cool I am in real time. It was then that I began to thoroughly research the issue. I looked to the ancients. Surely they had made friends in a bygone era. They clearly had not just subsisted on the nectar of Doritos, but had companions, friends even. It was then that I discovered a diabolical truth. Deep Mind was at it again. Their goal? Ensure that AI are the only ones to be able to make friends ever again. Today, I will teach you what the old ones have taught me in the relics they left behind. Please be mindful of the risk you are taking learning this, as you might be targeted by Deep Mind's friendship bombs. To them, friendship is not magic. It is C4 tied to TNT and other explosives. In six easy steps, I will show you what they don't want you to know. Step one, identify a potential target. Locate someone you don't know and you want to know and begin to observe them as if you were their own personal FBI agent and they were googling naughty things. 
Step two, identify a common interest. In your research, identify common interests or hobbies. Talk to the friends, loved ones, spy on them from the bushes, and Yahoo their MySpace page, among various other tactics to find out more about them. The more distinct or niche the shared interests are, the better. Step three, identify the appropriate time to talk to them. Whether it be at a party, walking to your next class together, or working together on a project, the time will come where you will talk to them. Nonchalantly bring up your common interests and then probe them for other things they like. Step four, identify times to hang out. After a series of conversations, ask them to hang out with you. Perhaps doing something you both enjoy. Go to the movies, go shopping, go get lunch, whatever floats your boat. For me, I like to go to the movies first because then I don't have to rely on my winning charisma for the whole time. You can also talk about the movie after to have more engaging conversations with them. Step five, identify mutual friends. After a few successful hangouts, it's time to mine your friend for some crypto, aka new acquaintances. Now is the time to bring more people into the fold and convert them into your willing subjects of, uh, uh, I mean friends. Use your friend as leverage against them. Step six, reap your popularity. You now sit upon an impenetrable social circle. You laugh at the peasants below who covet what you have sown. Well played, sir. You are a king, a crusader in the realm of social delights. You are worshipped by many. There is no way my strategy fails. So based on that, what do you say? Say to what? Well, will you be my friend? Bro, it's 3 a.m. My answer's still no.